everybody welcome back to a brand new video today I'm going to be doing a really quick set it's just going to be a gel polish set so I will tell you what I'm using and then I'll just get started I have my gelish and I don't know what number it is but um, is it hang on NSY 77 and it's this color I have my Canny, which is, I think it's 29, which is this lovely colour. I shall also be using uh, my Your Sugar Blooming Gel, my Born Pretty Transfer Gel, possibly, my uh, gel lab white which is 1323 which says jellish on the bottom so there we go and also my Renalisa top coat a foil now I don't know whether you can see this but it it's got a lovely gold shine in it so that's some gold striping tape and some super duper pretty gems and that's pretty much it um i thought perhaps a marble on a nail with the three colors we're gonna have a full nail of the flowers bit of everything on there um and we'll see how it goes so i shall let you watch if i need to come in i will do i doubt it i think you'll understand what i'm doing it's just a quickie just to put something out there for you so i shall get started Okay, so I've painted the three nails. These two I have given a matte top coat just because they needed a top coat. I didn't want them messing up while I'm messing about with all the other ones. Um, now this transfer printing gel, apparently you give it a minute and then you can start transferring. So that's that sorted. But on these two, I'm gonna be putting um, a chrome over the top but it's going to have a gold shimmer on those two just to tie it in with this foil because it's got gold in it so um, I shall let you watch now um, this one's going to be a full foil nail so I'm going to do that one next How gorgeous has that turned out? Do you know, I've tried lots of transfer glues, gels, and this I've got to say, this is the first time using it, it is the best by far that I've tried so far. So, thumbs up for that one. Now, I was gonna do a, I 
forgotten the name of it. A marble. I've changed my mind. I want to try and keep everything all pretty much together. So I'm going to do a bit of a rough ombre with this colour and this colour on this nail. Then we'll be doing the transfer over the top. And then we will be doing another transfer on that nail. Just want to try and keep the half, well, a half and... Right, start again. Right, this one, I'm doing a an ombre where it will be a full nail of foil. This one's going to be a half foil and then the rest will just be a colour of my choice. And I will use a bit of the striping tape and a few gems and see what happens. So that's the plan. It may change as I go along so you know, don't be surprised. I've matted the 
the uh, the end of the nail. I can't remember the oh, I'm so crap at this. My memory's gone rubbish again. Anyway, this bit is matted. I've put the transfer gel on the white bit and it's had a full minute so I'm going to go in with the last piece of this what's left on there because there's just enough to fill that in that gap in so it's just choosing which way to go with it so I'm thinking maybe that way there so I'm just going to push that on There we go guys, that's the transfer done. Um, the Osmo stopped recording, so I'm afraid it's to miss some bits. So, okay, see, that's all, that's all finished. And I have gone in with just a little bit of striping tape just to neaten that edge up. So any imperfections, it's filled in nicely. Just when you're putting striping tape on, just come a little tiny bit away from the edge so you can encapsulate that in your top coat and it won't peel off so all I'm going to do now is come in with a few gems on um, in a few different places and that'll be it and uh, I shall come back when it's top coating time These are almost finished. I'm going to put gems on now. Um, obviously, if you're doing it on a real person or yourself, you would glue the your little stones on, but it's a hand. So I'm just going to put it on with my top coat. And these are the stones, if you can see them. How stunning are they? So I'm just going to put them um, on this finger, this finger, perhaps this finger. We shall see how it goes, but um, I'll do it as a top coat. Okay, I should be quiet and get on.
so there we go everyone that is the finished nails i really love these like i said they're so simple but they just look so pretty i'm loving the foils um and i have to do these on myself now i've seen how they look on a nail there we go just a nice simple set i've kind of lost my nail mojo a bit at the moment because i have another hobby on the go nails is kind of taken a step to the side which which i love nails and i'm you know i don't want that to happen so even if i do a simple set if i just keep keep at it i'm, I'm sure my mojo will come back but, but um as some of you have probably seen i've got a little bit of a thing for dolls houses at the moment i have the same dolls house i had as a child and i'm now restoring it to modern times so loving it but i'm loving these also so these take priority at the moment okay so there we go finished nails if you like this please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already i'd be really chuffed if you would subscribe now we have 96 subscribers at the moment and when we hit that 100 that's when the giveaway will start and i will give all the details out for that um once we get there so please share away let's get some more people subscribing and then you'll see the awesome giveaway that's coming and that's it for me for now so thank you so much for watching everybody and i'll see you again very soon bye